Well, protecting paradise is more than just thinking about and learning about the environment. It's also about protecting you from the impacts of climate change and what it's doing to your health. As you may have felt, the world is seeing some record heat. And whether you attribute that to humans or to cycles of weather, it can have some serious impacts on your health. For in your corners, Anna Coles is speaking with those it impacts the most and the people who are trying to help. So you have to come out. So there's no way around it. And I see that they are really drained from the heat. So the environment is one of those triggers that makes health disparities worse. To understand health disparities, you have to look at several factors. Take Northern Sarasota, for example. You'll see a lot of people walking or riding their bikes around, even as the temperature and humidity creep up to historic levels. I'm gonna go around and ask you, what is one positive word that you can describe yourself? April Glasgow runs Second Chance Last Opportunity, a nonprofit in Northern Sarasota that helps low-income families. People in her neighborhood come to her all the time for help, sometimes for financial issues, but often for relief from the heat. They're looking to uh, find a way to cool down. And like right now, they're probably somewhere in the shade. According to Florida Clinicians for Climate Action, people who live in more vulnerable areas and are exposed to the heat more are at greater risk for respiratory issues, heart disease, and mosquito or insect-borne illnesses. I'm strong, I'm brilliant, and I'm powerful. And, and April sees that heat exposure adds up quickly for her clients. A lot of them don't have transportation, a lot of them ride the bicycle, a lot of them don't have air conditioning in the home. That's my little desk there in the corner where I do my medical records. Dr. Randall Morgan is a member of Florida Clinicians for Climate Action, a group of doctors trying to shed light on how health issues and climate are related. That each environment, each location has a different set of health challenges that are totally related only to that environment. Morgan looks at how low-income populations are affected by changes in the climate. He's also the executive director of the Cobb Institute, an organization that studies the causes of health disparities in vulnerable populations. One example is asthma. Asthma is a major problem that's exacerbated, exacerbated by heat. Okay, so Ann Jackson is a mom who notices more heat means more flower blooms and more allergies. Summer and this summer has been really high with the pollen. And there's no way around it because you have to come outside. Ann says her sinus issues in general seem more severe lately. There's no layer to anything anymore. It's like you get sick more, it's hotter more, it's colder more, it's just, I don't know, there's just no way around it. And while Ann has a home and car where she can escape the heat, April reminds us many people don't have the luxury of making that a priority. Their focus is not the heat. They, their focus is making sure that they have enough money to pay their bills or have um, whatever they need to survive. Anna Coles, Fox 4, in your corner. Well, there is still a lot more Florida clinicians for climate action need to learn about how these communities are being affected. Anna has it all spelled out for you in the digital version of her story. That's on our website, fox4now.com.